We're back in Albany for the fourth and final game of the weekend as the PLL season in 2023 begins. You're watching the PLL on ESPN. It's powered by Ticketmaster. Whipsnakes and Chrome set to do battle here in Albany. And last time we saw the Chrome, they were raising a trophy in the championship series back in February. Set, go! Chrome gets on the board first, and it's the big fella, Mike Manley, with his long pole beating. Kyle Burnmore. Mike Manley had a goal last year during the regular season, so capable in transition. That big wind up and face dodge. I think it just catch the whip snakes a little off guard. You could see Bryce Young try to sneak in there. No help from Muller. Now he caught coming up field. Anderson shoots tough angle, but he scores. Five hole. Seeing them switch the matchup with Rambo. I saw JT Giles Harris early. Now Manley's on nine and white. Dordovic scores! Tucker Dordovic, the rookie from Georgetown, on the run, his first professional goal. The crazy part about this shot is he's actually a natural right. He is so two-handed, he's so aggressive with his change of direction. Look at that split. And down the alley, I mean, that is a very difficult shot. When you're going east-west more than north-south and losing that angle, Ryan, this is this is something. Well, they're going to need a lot of it today. Brad Smith is out. Ballistic quickness, the side-to-side move, move. Well, that's a great point because he shot ready right off of that split. Quick feet in front. Finished by Will Manny. So you have Tucker Dordovic's first goal as a pro and Will Manny's first goal as a member of the Whipstakes. Whip Snakes repeatedly pulling Anderson. Goodness gracious, Hanley just slumps off his defender. They might want to rethink that decision. We're talking about all these guys, these shorties that can match him. Maybe not. You'd love to think that Ty Warner can match up with Hanley, but he just lowers the boom. Six foot five, 230. Shrugs off that little cross check, turns and fires. And you know the beauty of this for Sam Hanley? Typically, when you watch him in college at Penn, every time he's up top and he makes a move, there's two defensive players yes. right in his face. Yes. In the PLL, defenses trust matchups. Ledman drew raves from some of the veterans earlier this week. Good skip pass. Shannon Chuckle fires. Scanoni's there, but it gets by him. So much for the low scoring game. I, I think Shannon Chuck got Scanoni guessing a little bit here. Quinn, I don't know what your angle was on this, but it looks like Scanoni comes off this near pipe, anticipating that far side, offside stick. And Chanichuk kind of beats him. A little surprise attack near pipe. He oh. actually got a piece of it. Yeah, he's upset. There's a fine line between guessing and anticipation. And in this league, when the ball's zinging 90 to 100 miles an hour, well placed. Maybe Terafenko won't wait for the shot clock to wind down. He won't, but he scores! Well, that's one way to figure out the shot clock. He didn't, go right to the tin. He didn't really have another option, guard. <laughs> he didn't, and Ryan Tarafanko is just an energy guy. Like, he is so good in the middle of the field. He'll represent Team USA in San Diego this summer. One of the top short stick defensive midfielders in the PLL. And what I love about the 32 second shot clock, you've seen back to back Short stick defensive midfield goals based on the new 32. That is a beautiful dish by the rookie, 40 and white. The five-time All-Star Shannon Chuck buried it. Now they're making it look easy. Connor Kirst beats Scanoni easily, and it's 
Oh, whip snakes right now. They have short stick defensive midfielders and guys like Connor Kurz who played exclusively offense his entire college career. And this is all set up by Con uh, Farrell, Connor Farrell rushing off the field. I've highlighted him right here. He's going to run off. And Squires wisely identifies, wait a second, we got a six on five. Quick ball movement, and then Kirst has all sorts of daylight. So a heads up play by the Whip Snakes. Morrow looking for a cutter front, finds Anderson and scores! 21 in practice got lost by the defense. He was right on the doorstep with just 1.9 left to go. Great feed by Rambo. Great feed by Rambo. Burnlor sitting on it. Didn't realize it at first. So now it's Will Manny from X on Terrafenko. Good luck, Lully. Oh, Scanoni makes the save. Now it's Keegan Connor who rolls back. Jackson Reed is in the game. Turnover, though. Watch out. Throw him on the run out. Good luck with Snauskas finishes. Pretty much an old school classic four on three fast break. Youngsters, if you wonder why you practice them so often, it's because they still happen at the top level. Salama draws the slide, hits the point man, skip the Wisnowskis. Picture perfect execution. Yeah, where, were the where are you? Scadoni. Oh! oh! Big hit in the middle of the field delivered by Michael Earhart. A good natured history of good, good nature ribbing each other. How about that finish? Wow! Peacock shows the number two on the other side of the field. He can finish with the best of them as well. Yeah, and you love to see it. Heacock last year shot just 16%. Well below his standards. He's such a big physical presence. Moral distributing from behind the cage. I mean, Heacock's covered. I mean, he's got a guy on him. I believe it's Pagliese. I mean, he's right there. The issue is right there on Heacock is 6'3", 210. I decide, but late in the clock, from behind the cage, up in front, those are the dangerous ones. Chan and Chuck, quick shot, wow. Will Manny on the wing, got him from Chan and Chuck and delivered in a hurry. Bro, they've got whip six on the run. And they end up with a goal. Jackson Morrill fills in for Brendan Nickter. And now you have like a two quarterback system with Hanley and Morrill, who's got the last assist and goal. He's one of the most underrated players in the league. You talk about the malleability. Two years ago, he plays X as a rookie. He's their leading scorer. They get Nick Turn. Nick Turn takes the X. Word with the on the sideline. Yeah, you don't slide. Jackson Reed got under his defender but couldn't beat Scanoni. The courage. Inside was oh. oh, robbed by Burnlor. Logan gets it back. Man, he shoots. Scanoni makes the save. That was a hard shot. That one stole it. Ferraro with the shot. Burnlor again with the save. Bounce shot high, and Scanoni makes the save. Moral goal line extended. Got the shorty on him. Ferrara scores! The rookie has Salisbury. Fourth round pick in last month's draft. Gets a goal. And Moral's dealing. That's his third assist of the game. So you got Ferrara filling in for Malloy. Moral filling in for Nick Turn. Good cut there by Ferrara, a little spot feed by Morrow, leading him to the spot. The handle and finish. Incredible body control and stick control to take that hit by Curse and get enough on it. A double deuce. Logan.
Pass inside, Morrill can't handle it. Comes out to Hanley though, good look inside of the shovel. Anderson, there he is. Ball defender here and able to help the middies. You know, he's a great talker, he's, he's, he's a great organizer. Keeps him in, in that role. Man up for Chrome, shot. Burnlore makes the save. An extremely solid Drive. group. Chaws, one of the D-mids. Ledman hit the pipe. Now they're going to call this a goal. Are they? They're checking it out. Yeah, it is a goal. All kinds of firsts in this game. The beauty of this, though, Matty will go under the tent. And he'll look at this. Because we have review. The locks yes, of Garrett Same guy, Clark, too, right? Ledman? Yeah. Elaborate a little bit on that one, Quint, for the fans just well, viewing. Well, NCAA semi semifinals, Penn State, Duke tied up in overtime. Ledman, the guy who stepped on the crease, goal was good. No video review exists to uh, reverse the call because his foot was on the line. Let's take a look at this one. This might be a good shot. Maybe too fast to see on that. Let's see. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell on that shot. You can't say one way or another. You can see something? I, I... Well, it's how the ball bounces out. If it comes out up, like up into the air, that means it did hit that the, the piece of metal that lays on the turf. It, it didn't, though. It hit, the, it hit the pipe. The pipe that lays no, on the ground no, in the no, goal? No, the upright the pipe, pipe at the, the base at of the goal line. The, when I saw it, it hits directly in the corner, that corner piece of pipe. It's kind of born and paid to do, right? Very atypical for him. Oh, good look. Warner finishes it. Will Manny. That pickup paid huge dividends for Whipstakes in their first game with him and Teal and Red. And this shows a ton of trust. We saw Warner in the championship series, Cotter, showing off some of his offensive prowess. Yes. You love the carryover now to the opening of the season. Warner's just gonna cut right down the defense. I mean, Salama's there. This is a touch speed leading Warner into space. The beautiful catch and release. I'll tell you what that was. Will Manny on the wings because you're gonna tire guys out with that short 32. I mean, he's going right here, he's going. Oh, shoots, Burnlor makes the save. Well, he's got Shannon Chuck here, he shoots. Scannon makes the stop, Scannon's just great. Still plenty of time on this power play. Whips have already gotten a couple of good looks, here's gonna be another one. Shannon Chuck, no mistake this time. Yikes. 83 miles an hour, it looked like 103. It's the release point and the accuracy. I mean, Kark, this is low to high, near pipe from a severe angle. This is about as difficult of a shot to execute. There's, there is not a big window that he's aiming at there. And what I love That's about this look. shot, yeah, this is a great look. What I love about this shot is he took like two. Got Terefenko hung up. Dordovic, Scannoni saw it all the way in another unbelievable outlet. Look at this. Under 10 to shoot. Can't get a good look at Bur How about Burlor falling down and is able to make the save on his knees. And now we get a flag. The comeback here. Chrome haven't scored a point since the midway point of the third quarter. Now midway through the fourth. It's Anderson once again. You heard Staggs talk about it in the first half. He has been their nemesis on so many occasions and he continues to be so today. He has. It's his fourth, Boyle. He's distributing the rock, and this is some nice off-ball action here. You're gonna get to see this little seal, and that creates all of this open space. To the right side of your screen is the shooter. That little rub and the late rotation over to Anderson. This but, is, yeah, setting his feet, letting it rip. Yeah, near, near pipe. Near pipe on the lefty, that's a tough location for Burnlar. Morrill looking to dodge. Anderson from distance. Burnlar saw that one all the way. Khan gets a good look and buries it. 
here's the deal. You have these perimeter shooters. And because of where we are, game scenario, the threat of two concerns Chrome. So they're pressing outside. And where's the opening? It's Keegan Kong inside because of all of the help to a guy like Chan and Chuck and Dordovic creates this scene. And they scored quickly enough where even if you lose this face off. Manley's on him, they body up. Dordovic on the run. Rambo said, if I don't have it, you better be ready to dodge. He wasn't able to gain advantage, and the luxury the Whip Snakes have now with their new draft pick is he can dodge, Kark. Spot on. Everybody knows when the game's on the line, Matt Rambo wants the rock. He was almost like the decoy. Jesse Bernhardt was saying in the huddle that Quint told us, you have to watch Rambo. Well, Dordovic's up top. All the help is sloughing to the Dodger on the left side, and Rambo, you left a guy alone who's about as two-handed as it comes. He's a righty, and he stings it to the bottom corner on the left hand. You, you don't want Cross Ferrara making this last play. It's like he's going to against Warner. Can he get free? Shoots and oh! scores! Maybe you do want Cross Ferrara to make the last play. Eat your words, Kark. The announcer jinx. <laughs> He's smiling. You have all these options. Sam Hanley, a generational talent. Logan Wisnowski, second in the league in goals as a rookie. Justin Anderson with Justin four Anderson. goals today. And then the rookie cross for her. The little shake. No slide. Hit it, young man. Runs through the check, and you can see Bryce Young just a little late on that support. That's an amazing moment for a young man and a coach who saw something in a Division Three town in Salisbury in Cross Ferrara. Been running. Cross Ferrara, the rookie from Salisbury, Division Three national champion, and now he's got a game winner in the PLL. For Paul Carcaterra, Ryan Boyle, Quint Kestick, and our entire crew, I'm Chris Cotter. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next week in Charlotte.